Okay, so you've been at this for a couple of years, maybe three, maybe four, something like that. Maybe you're closing, maybe, I don't know, six deals a year, five deals a year. Sounding pretty familiar to a lot of people, I would imagine, right now. Well, if that's you and you want to see how you can get to maybe 24 deals a year, well, that's what we're going to kind of talk about today. We're here with Coach Vanda Martin, and that's what we're going to get into right here, right now on the Agent Animal Show. We're glad to have you here. I'm here once again with Coach Vanda Martin. Hi, Coach. Hello, superstar. How are you? <laughs> She's calling me the superstar. That's very <laughs> kind of you. I'll take it. I'll take it. I Why wonderful. not? Why not? So, yeah, Coach, I wanted to, um, uh, first of all, we'll just remind everybody that you, you do have an event coming up. What's the date again for the event? February 23rd, 24th, right here in so beautiful San Diego. San Diego, February 23rd and 24th. Coach Vanda Martin's got a wonderful Live. event, a live event. You can attend. The con the link for that uh, to register and get there is right down below uh, for all of our viewers. So you can click on that. So I just want to make sure you, you know that that's there. Um, but I did want to get into this today. Coach Vanda sent me a little text saying, hey, man, let's have let's have kind of a conversation today. And I was like, oh, I got just the idea. And, and so that's it. I wanted to explore what it would be like coach how you would help someone in that exact scenario so here's the scenario i'm going to give you the, the the scenario of the person i think this is going to resonate with a lot of people that are listening right now and watching i've been in the business i'm a real estate agent i've been in the business maybe three to five years i'm in that not new right but not really experienced kind of zone i'm that intermediate mm -hmm. kind of person right um, I don't have a whole lot of past clients because I'm only closing like five or six deals a year, something like that. I've only been doing it a few years. So do the math. I've got like what? 10 to 20 people in my past. So my past client database calls get done real fast, right? Super, yeah. super fast. Um, I am buying Zillow leads coach. Uh -huh. I'm, and, okay. and I'm, I'm spending, notes. I'm taking notes, take <laughs> notes, right? I'm buying Zillow leads and I, and I spend about seven fifty a month so far. And I've been doing it for a couple of years. Uh, so far I've only closed like one or two deals from, from the Zillow leads. Um, I really want to get to two pretty consistent, consistently coach, get to two deals a month closed. If okay. I could do that, it could be listings. I don't care. Buyers. I don't, I just want to close two. Right. I would, I would love to get to that point. I kind of just, what do I do? Where do I start? I'm that intermediate agent coach. What, how do I turn this around, man? And like dig up some more business. You know, is it just buy more Zillow leads? What is it? Yeah. Love the question. Love the scenario. And we are about to change your life. So first of all, let me clarify something. And Frank, uh, I want to give you my personal opinion. Yeah. Actually, for me, anyone under four and a half years in the business is too new. Still new. Okay. Still new. So Okay, gonna, good enough. Uh, no, but four to five on, you know, again, also depends on the person, right? Depends how, how strategic they are, how much business experience they have and how run how they run this business, not as a hobby, as a business. So you actually can be a, a, just pretty much seasoned agent of four years in business if you are really implementing business strategies and have already SOPs in your business. So, but let's go back here. I'm new, right? Yeah. I only sell six homes, five, six homes per year. And let's change that. Yeah. So first of all, what do you think is stopping you? from selling two homes a month? I would say um, I'm just not sure um, how to, I just don't know where to find the the business. Like how do I connect with people who need my help? I'm struggling in that regard. I mean, I, I make some Facebook posts, you know, uh, but I just don't, I'm just not sure how I can get more people to raise their hand and say, yeah, come right. help me. I can appreciate that. And by the way, but it's the way you set this whole scenario, I actually know some of your problems, but I want to hear from you ah. because, you know, awareness starts the beginning of transformation. So mm. what I hear you saying is, number one, I don't have enough leads. Right. That means I don't have enough prospects to have a conversation so I can set an appointment so I can have an opportunity. Correct? You would you'd be correct. Awesome. That's it. I don't have enough leads. And don't have enough leads. Uh, yes. And some of you have leads but can convert the leads like if you're already buying zillow leads i don't know how many leads you got received from zillow so i can say that is probably your conversion level 
because let's imagine even if you got five zillow leads per month and uh if you have poor skills you convert zero out of five uh if you have okay skills oh well, maybe you start converting one mm. now you get good you convert two mm. right so two out of five that's good i have a that client, is good i had a client um Adam and Connie, when he get came to me, he said, zero leads, does, zero, zero leads are horrible. It doesn't work. Yeah. I said, tell me more. What makes you believe that? Yeah. Because I've tried this. I've tried that. I said, Adam, is it possible that you just don't have the right strategy? The skills need to be upgraded and the systems are not in place. He said, tell me more, coach. He repeated me. Yeah. I said, we need to improve your mindset, your skills. We got to learn helping mom. We got to learn the skills. And actually, I took Adam and Connie, Frank, to become the highest converter in online leads I know, 25%. No kidding. Did you know, Frank, that the average agent convert less than 1% on the online leads? Cold I leads? totally believe it. 100% yeah. I believe it. Yeah. I, some 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 places say one point something, but the National Association of Re uh, uh, Realtors say they convert less than 1%. So why someone can convert 25% and when most can convert less than 1%? Again, how is your skills? How is your structure? How is your strategy? But let's go back here to, I want to sell two homes a month yeah. and I don't have enough leads. First of all, when you say database, define database for me. Right? Okay. So what I was saying, I'm so glad you asked that question because I was in my mind is, you know, doing the scenario, I'm thinking past clients, the deals I've actually closed. I can appreciate that. So you're talking about past clients only. Now yeah. let's clarify this and I'm, Ready to give you some gold here. I love gold. gold give it to strategies. me. Strategies. Your, pet, your database actually consists of past client, sphere of influence, and vendors. Mm. Okay. For example, my, my sphere of influence gave me a lot of repeat and refer, uh, excuse me, referrals. So your past clients are going to give you repeat. They're going to do business with you again. Also, they can give you referrals, correct? That's past yeah. client. But your SOI, sphere of influence, they know most of the people you know in your phone, mm -hmm. in your database, CIM, mm -hmm. knows at least one person who's going to buy, sell, invest this year. Yeah. So, so your database actually consists of your past clients, few of influence, your vendors. Listen, my title company lady, she in one year she bought two homes with me. She's my <laughs> vendor. Yeah. Uh, my my uh, my roof bought a home with me. So my point is, everyone you know, everyone that you. Uh, spouse knows should be part of your CIM. So that's how I see it. Your database goes into your CIM and that's everybody. And mm. they should be organized because then you can nurture them. Here's my PC. Here's my SOI. Here's my vendors. Here's my old. Can, I, can I ask you something, coach? Of course. Um, this is great because you're right. There's, there's, when it comes to past clients, not just past clients, past clients for your influence and your vendors. Um, how do I, what's the best way to organize that? Is there a particular CRM that's affordable that you say, Hey, this'll, this'll work for you or anything like that. I'm not here trying to sell a CRM, no, I, I but I, I'm just wondering what, what's the best way to, to keep I, those things organized. I love the question, by the way, that's, that's one of the biggest questions we get from list agents. Of course. Which, which CRM is the best one? Yeah. You know, my answer, the best one is the one you use. Yeah. I know. Best, so there's so many of that. That lion yeah. desk, follow up boss, right? There is uh, so many out there. So mm -hmm. many out there you can use. Now I like follow up boss. I okay. have nothing to do with them. I have nothing to do with them. I don't okay. From them or anything. It's because they have a very good um, way of connecting with without platforms, right? But many there's so many out there. You can Google, you know, CIM. There's many out there. Uh, just work with the best one for you. They all have the same. You know, I use Active Campaign because I do a lot of mailers for my VIP, my list. Mm. Right. I also use before Salesforce. Uh, again, which one do you use right now? Which one works best for you? Uh, some some people use the ones of the company. For example, I coach. I'm the preferred coach for Compass. Mm. So Compass, I believe they bought contextually and mm. uh, Compass at CIM. The whole company is fantastic. So you, you know? get if you work there, you get the. You yeah, get now, it. So, now yeah, gotta, if, if your company provides it, you got yeah, one. Use it. Now, yeah. Now I gotta say this, and on that subject, I always recommend you back up your own CRM. You have your mm -hmm. own. CRM. You mm -hmm. own your own leads. God forbid something happened with the company, follow mm -hmm. up, breakdown, lion mm -hmm. desk, any company. Mm -hmm. 
they don't own your data. They don't own your, right. you right. have it. So backup, have your own personal. So organize them in bucket or in list, whatever they give it to you. Here's yeah. my past client. Here's my SOI. By the way, I teach this on my courses, how to organize your database. Because mm. the reason for you, the way for you to get more leads is to work on the funnels. You know how I like to say, Frank, that you can use it as an agent. We're pretending you are an agent, right? We're pretending yes. you are my mm -hmm. avatar looking here. I'm coaching my client, coaching client. I'm teaching you and coaching you up. Yes. How to go from six to 24 transactions. Right. First of all, we already talked this in the last podcast that you should have your goals. Right. Because if it's our goals, you have no direction. You right. can't get a fuzzy target. So you know your goals. And that includes your appointments go per week in your appointments in your conversations per day right i would say minimum three appointments per week minimum 15 conversations per day and that 15 conversation include a text or a phone call right even leaving a message to your database mm. emails emails that don't count as a conversation because okay. if you do 15 conversations a day 15 conversations a day right? okay so let me stop you there i don't want to pass that up so this is your you're saying to be effective 15 conversations a day yeah, because look at this. Look at the numbers don't lie. Numbers are diamonds and they don't lie. 15 conversations a day. And you can say, but I'm new. I'm two years in the business. Hey, I have a, someone that I'm coaching right now. She's one year and a half in the business day. She said in already three, four points a week. So no my, my point is 15 conversations a day means 75 a week. 75 a week means 300 a month. Even with poor skills. Just by showing up strong, hopefully with some level of confidence, a little bit of a swagger, even with poor skills, you had 300 conversations a month, you should set at least 10 appointments. Unless and, you don't and even it know. Shouldn't... And that 10 appointments, should, you should convert at least one or two. Yeah. Should, and, and and to have 300, to, to get 300 people together, if you do get into your phone and you export that, by the way, there's a great app for that. I don't know if you're familiar with the coach. It's Covey Export, C-O-V-V-E. Export. I heard of it, yeah. Yeah, C O V V E export. I think it's free. If it costs me, it might be two bucks or something. But, right. but you you put that on your phone. You download it from the app store, and I swear, like in three clicks, it's emailing you your entire phone database in a spreadsheet, in an Excel that. spreadsheet, and it's got. And I didn't even realize this, but in your like in the iPhone, which I have, you know how many data fields are in there for your contacts, like. A hundred. Like, it's like, what? There's all, but anyway, you get the database and you can just, you know, get rid of the columns you don't need. You could trim it down to a comprehensive list. The other thing about that coach too, that we found and that I found is when people export their phone list from Covey export, they're shocked at how many people are in that phone. Yes. Many times coach it's thousands. I know, I know. And they, they think they don't have enough people to talk to and they are going crazy looking for every lead source in the world, like, a, you know, foreclosure or anything. Now, do you know the golden rule of the database ROI? Right? No. What is it? This, this is very vital to know because it's actually very exciting. The golden rule of the database CIM system that I teach and I know is if and when, if and when you work your database, means your past clients, few of influence, your vendors, I'm not even talking about the whole CIM in case you have 2,000 people in your CIM. Just that, let's imagine you have 700 people, 700 okay. people in your database CIM, right? Mm -hmm. uh, past clients, few of influence, your vendors, 700 people between your phone and everybody else. The golden rule said, if you work them good, not even great, not even excellent, if you work them good, your ROI, return on investment should be 10%. So if you have 700 people in your database, you could be selling already 70 deals just from one lead source, baby. Mm. One lead source. Mm. That means you're still leaving 90% of the table. Look, yeah. Lisa came to me, one of my clients, she was uh, burnout, you know, and the other coaches too. The other coach said, I cannot do anything to help her. Mm. She's going to quit. I said, send her to me. She was, and of course, you know, she's a seasoned agent. Mm. But she started over because she was burned out, no life. Mm. And she came to me and uh, she was doing much lower from a database. And like many of you guys, hitting your head in a wall, just cold leads, cold leads, forgetting the most important of them all, your database CIM. Mm. And then I, I helped her to elevate his skills, also energy or fun or joy, putting some joy into mm. it. Mm. We took her to 30% return investment with the database. Now, she start getting one, two, three come listen per week, like I had. Mm. Like I had. So my point is you you brain new 
one year, brand new one year, but it's almost like brand new, right? Yeah. If you knew three years to five years in the business, I would say work in your database, double down, use my proven system that mm-hmm. I talk, showed you guys last podcast. Use my proven system. I would do a lot of open houses because open house is fast way to have a presentation right there. Right mm-hmm. there. Every mm-hmm. lead that comes in is a presentation mm-hmm. opportunity. Mm. Right, you can set appointment. You need more appointments because you need more pres- uh, opportunities. So I would I would go for the money money activity that moves the needle. Mm. Work your database right away. Let's do more open house, minimum five a month. Mm. The successful agents they are selling homes with the lead source of open house that's pretty much free and available. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, doing five open house a month. That's how I got a lot of my listings, my sales in the beginning. So I would say database CIM, your open house, social media. So again, it's not only posting, it's how you post, when you post, what is your content? Are you showing up strong with credibility? Also is engagement. And then of course, if you're already doing so uh, online lead, you got to master open mama. You got to know the script that works I really think- well. I think the best thing we can do, Coach, you've got so much to offer. Well, number one, don't forget, guys, Coach, Coach Van is putting on a live event here, the 23rd and 24th of this month, February 2024. The link to register is right down below. So just click that if you're in the area or if you feel like making a trip to San Diego, which why not? San Diego is beautiful. Why not make a trip to San Diego? So um, go and and check out Coach Vanda's live event. But I love this. So to summarize this. Okay, you pointed out a lot of things we got to do. One of the things we really focused on today was definitely this, you know, the past client sphere of influence and vendors reaching out to them in an effective way with respect to getting them organized. Whatever CRM you, you think you're going to be able to use, which easiest for you, just get it and start using it. We need a CRM. Follow-up boss is not bad. You said you like that one. Yeah, this but, but it doesn't, one. doesn't have to be follow-up boss. It can be anything you can get in. Just keep your clients organized, right? Number two is... We are going for 15 conversations a day, my friends, 15 conversations a day, 15 talk to's, right? Not 15 yeah. voicemails. Not, 15... not uh, great clarification. What, clarify what, yeah, it. clarify it. That's very important. By the way, uh, people say, well, conversation. A conversation is when you talk with a prospect about business. So if you're calling, if you're calling a past client, but you never talk business, no, you're just, you're just doing the fourth step of the, lead, uh, of the database system is connect with the database and take them out for coffee, wine, happy hour. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the number one step. Call them on Socorro and check in with the head of a business person. Hey, Frank, this is Vanda here. You have really set up date. You got a minute? Yeah. So you're talking business. That's a conversation. So you call if you call your database, past clients, few of influencing vendors, if you give them an update and... Uh, and you leave a message for the update, you can count as a conversation because they already know you. That's the bonus. Okay. The only time you can leave a message is for your database and you can count as a conversation because they already know you. Mm. And if you talk to them, so what is a conversation? When you talk to a prospect or a past client, when you leave a data a message to your database, past client feel influence, and when you call off a follow-up. So when you call new business as well. So mm. for example, let me clarify this. At a this was my morning routine. And I said, I believe I mentioned last time. At 8 30, I called expired. And then after I did expires, I hit the buy owners. At nine o'clock, I called five to seven people from my database. And then I did five follow-up, right? Call follow-up, your old open house leads, your old leads from Zillow, your old leads from uh, the event you went, you know, and then five people maybe that you don't know. People in your on your database, like, who are these people? Like a Compass, and I say Compass many times because I know the process sure. and I coach yeah. them all. I coach a lot of agents from the area. They have a, a, a place, a bucket on the CIM that say people most likely to sell. Mm. So again, this is a conversation. You talk is a lead generation lead follow up. I just say having conversation because first of all, it's direct to the point is even sexier. Oh, I'm going to prospect. No. You're not going to prospect. You're going to have a conversation and then you're going to set appointments. That's what lead generation lead follow-up is. Mm-hmm. If you keep your pipeline full because every day you're having conversations, setting appointments, you give love to your database, checking in with them, giving them one nugget, see if they have any question, and then you do your follow-up or maybe also reaching people that you don't know. Now, what happened, Frank, they have, some of them have so many old leads from Zillow, old leads yeah. from Open House, and also they have a lot of people in your data, their database, but they're not 
touching bases. They're not talking to them. They're not talking to them. Listen to me. Yeah. If you're not talking to your database, doing lead follow-up, returning your message, talking to people, if you're not doing a follow-up, somebody else is taking your leads. That's right. Somebody, somebody else is. is. Right. Good stuff. Yeah. So, okay. So 15 conversations, we defined what that is. Um, and then, uh, you know, five open houses, like you're talking about doing open houses every weekend. Yeah. So when I started, how come I sold 32 homes my first year? Okay. So I did open house Saturday, 11 to one and two to four. And my number one goal is to build my database because I was new, new in town, two little kids that I know many people. I want to new my, build my list, my database, my CIM. And also set appointments. So I have opportunities. And of course, number three, sell the home. So mm. everything you do, you have to have goals. What's my outcome? So when you do an open house, number one goal is set a solid list, so solid appointment. Buy or sell, set an appointment. I cannot mm. tell you how many times I left the open house and I went to neighbor's house, do a quick preview and then set the official mm. appointment or officially buyer's presentation. Again, do open house, fast way to make money and build your database. Number two, uh, double down, triple down on your database because it's there. Number three, if you're already on social, post more stuff, more relevant, more. Uh, I think uh, I think that's what we'll talk about next time. You know what I'd love to talk about next time, Coach, is I think there's a lot of people that probably have gone down the Zillow path or Realtor.com, whatever, who probably have, like you said, a nice bucket of people that never converted into anything, but really didn't get the proper follow up at all, right? Yeah. Yeah, because and, it's not only knowing the skills, it's having the systems too. Go ahead. I was going to say, that's what I want to talk about is I, if it's okay with you, the next time we get together, I'd like, to, I'd like to learn a little bit about how do we better convert our Zillow or bot leads, right? How do we better convert them? What What's the conversation we have when we make that call or they get handed off to us? You know, how do we do that in our follow up? Right. If it's if that's OK, can we do that next next time? Oh, we, we can do that. We can do. I have several clients really killing with online leads. And mm. by the way, online leads uh, is one of the most difficult lead ever because it's cold, cold, cold. And they're talking to 20 agents. Yeah. yeah. I, one of my clients, Phil, in Florida, he sells six homes per month. Three comes from his database CIM. Three comes from online lead. It's pretty much he, those two lead sources. He kills it. Down, he does it. And, and then I have a client that I coach for many, many years, Jason Anderson, right here in California. He does about two a month from Zillow. And I have my client too, that I got him to learn why Lupo, he converts. He sells like between just from online leads, just from online leads between why Lupo, Zillow, Realtor.com, all the online that you buy, right? Paid mm -hmm. attraction, we call mm -hmm. paid attraction, mm -hmm. sells 23 homes per month. You. Him and his team. So Shut again, up. You got to know, it's not only know what to say, you got to know how to mirror match, right? They're cold, they, they, they're talking to everybody. You Let's talk about that them. one next time. Let's I, talk I, next time. And, and I know we can't. And so guys, next time when we come back with Coach Vanda, uh, hopefully go to her event on the 23rd. But the next time we have Coach Vanda back on Agent Animals, remember, we're going to talk about uh, online lead conversion, but we can only cover so much information on know, one of these. Right? So, so, you know, we're, we're so I'm going to put the link down below to get to coach Vanda's event, but also just a link to reach out to coach Vanda directly. I appreciate uh, it. It, it. Yeah. If you want to just start working with her, uh, Thank directly. You. Yeah. Vanda yeah. F. Martin on my follow my Instagram. Now I just want to tighten up this thing here. So tighten it up. Go ahead. You, you got to think like this in, in order to get leads, you got to tighten, work on the leaf sources. I like to think the leaf sources as trees, right? You gotta shake the trees. He's mm. my database CIM, he's my open house. Here's my online leads. Here's my social media. Here's my networking, right? So you gotta be in front of people. If you wanna have opportunities, if you wanna have presentation, also called appointments, and we know appointments in the game, you gotta talk to people through any way possible. So you gotta meet people in person or Zoom or through a social media. You gotta meet people, be in front of people one way or another, engage with them. Then you can have opportunity to learn the skill of set an appointment. Because mm. what happened, Frank, the reason they're not converting is they don't have enough appointments. Right. And when they have appointments, they don't have enough skills to convert the appointment. Mm. And that's why, look, I guarantee you, I ride on fire, I promise you, that when you start learning the skills of mirror matching, Build rapport, build connection, 
build that trust, and then you set an appointment and consistently doing those follow-up for more appointments and you up-level your skills of converting those appointments, your business is never going to be the same. That's how I went. That's how I went from selling one a week to one every other day. Guys and wow. girls, my skills, look at me, broken English, different country, different place, little mm -hmm. girl, small girl. But I, I learned because basketball, conversion comes from your level of skills. Mm -hmm. Skills, skills, and conversion happens on appointments. So you, as you implement the, sh the system, the other thing is they're doing zero or it doesn't work. So the mindset is the wrong place, right? Mm -hmm. One like leads, it doesn't work. No, because you don't know the, the stats. Can I finish with the stats about leads, so, about zero? Go and for it, coach. Leave? You go. Okay, a little strategy for you guys. Started, I started was done by the Zillow company, but it works for all online leads. Truly, uh, Zillow, right? Uh, Realtor. All online leads, Realtor.com, Wildlope, whatever. Look at this, because you need to have awareness. You need to be smart. 50% of those leads never going to do anything. They're opportunists. They looky loose. They're just in looking. Yeah. 50% are never going to do it. The other 50%, only 7.8% are going to do business today. Mm. 7 point, so 8% are going to do business today. Of the 50%. Out of the 50% left. Now, the 42 is going to do business with you the next 16 months, 15 months. But what happened is they reach out to one lead once, twice, three times, and then they drop the leads. So most of them are going to be doing business later. Mm. I had one client that no sure two several leads. And then December, right before Christmas, just for the online lead source, she closed too. Just for mm. month. She mm. sold many homes that month. So you got to learn how to nurture. So you got a system? What is your system to nurture your leads for online mm -hmm. leads? Mm -hmm. How is your skills? Do you know how to set appointments with those leads? Do you know how to become unforgettable, irreplaceable, and amazing? So again, skills, structure, systems. So I love this stuff. Can you tell? I can tell. Yeah. And it sounds great. And I'm looking forward to getting together the next time to diving a little bit deeper into this, yeah. but it sounds like coach Vanda has got it all tightened up as she likes to yeah. say, she's got it all dialed in yeah, and uh, laid out. So good stuff, coach. Well, I appreciate you being here again. I know all the viewers appreciate it as well. Uh, for all of you, just try to make it to her event if you can on the 23rd down in San yeah, Diego, because it's beautiful. And yeah. if not, we'll just we'll just connect you to her website. So you can just reach out to Coach Vanda directly and she can help you out. She really Yeah, really just Google me, Vanda. And uh, my email is Vanda, vandamata.com. And revise your schedule. Go improve your skills, system, structure, darlings. You going, you can sell two homes a month, three, four, five more like I did. So thank you so much. Thank you, coach. And for the rest of you, thanks so much for being here. Do us a favor. Thank the loan officer that invited you here. They're with the mortgage marketing animals, and they have something that's called the real-time referral program, where they make sure that they work any buyers you send them, they work them proper in a proper way, in a very professional way, asking for referrals through the entire process. And when they dig them up, they hand them right back to you. So make sure you get a hold of that loan officer that invited you here and ask them about that. With that, we'll get on out of here. We'll catch you guys here next time. Thank on you. the Agent Animals podcast. We'll see you later. Thanks, coach. See ya. Thank you. Bye. Bye.